not a nigga brother wanna lose his mind. I had something different. So I knew that I wasn't a gospel singer, R&B singer with all the runs and, you know, the big voice. We own the throne, we own the cars and the cribs and the phone. Little warrior on the rise, spread our wings and embrace the sky. To the dream cloud of some daughters and all the lies. To my mama who told me to keep my head up in. Fly, what you doing with your life? Call before you walk and then you run into the flight. Choose courage, honor, life. What's so hard you only got one life? Live. There's always comparing and there's someone that's better and and it's the voice, you know, so just listening to your voice and accepting that is so hard. It's so hard, you only got one life. Yeah. Really what I love about, you know, your lyrics is you really believe in socially meaningful, you know, lyrics and, you know, how did, you can talk about that song, Time. One of the biggest dreams is to get signed as an artist, right? So that's kind of where I grew up you know, in teen years. And, and so now that the record industry has changed and um, it's not the same, I had to come to a point where like, no matter where I am, I just have to keep pushing and keep going because time is going to move on. And that was really the, the um, inspiration for the song. You know? said, take your time. The preacher man said, time's on my side. But I don't really want to be wasting mine. So I'm keeping it moving because I ain't got time. I just move. One of the verses is a wise woman. She told me once that time was of the essence. My favorite poet said in scripture, time we cannot measure. So why do we try to measure? Put a dollar sign on pleasure. A wise woman, she told me once that time was of the essence. My favorite poet said in scripture, time we cannot measure. So why we try to measure? Put a dollar sign on pleasure. The clock is taking pressure in my... The rap song, uh, Do I Really uh, Want to Be? And you even reference Queen Latifah in that by saying your mom started screaming when she saw the Ebony magazine, you know, article on you with, in Queen Latifah, I guess, right? Right, right. There's something very um, empowering about stepping on the stage and delivering a message, a poem, prose, whatever's on your heart. And that's what Queen Latifah's contest was. She was looking for rappers. So I was like, well, I'm going to rap because that's what she's looking for. And that's when I started rapping. Do I really wanna be? 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 Do I wanna be? I don't know if for someone like a Stevie Wonder or Michael Jackson, if it's easy. I imagine it's not. But for me, I spent many years wrapped in my in my head, um, except trying to accept myself and that this is what I'm supposed to do. You a rock star now. You a rock star now. You a rock star now. Good days, bad days, great performances, bad performances. And the song, Do I Really Want to Be, is a story about just that. Do I really want to be a rock star? And, you know, some days I do, and other days I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> and then I have a great performance, and it's like, this is what I'm doing. And at this point, um, I'm not afraid to fail, you know? I've had many great opportunities, as you mentioned, having to travel in Athens, Greece, Naples, Italy. I just came back from Barbados doing music. And um, an opportunity for failure is an opportunity for growth. I say, I don't really care that you got mad girls. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm so, so fly, so smooth, so cool, so cool, so cool. I'm so, so fly, so fly, so smooth, so smooth, so cool.